It can make a person feel like no amount of sleep is ever enough. Idiopathic hypersomnia can take its toll on every aspect of life. It's hard to have a job when you're needing to sleep 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, there's social isolation. There's increased incidence of depression. Uh, we know that people who sleep excessively probably don't live as long. They have more health problems in general. Sleep physician Dr. Louis Kazagla says those suffering from this sleep condition are exhausted when they should be awake and alert. The two most common complaints are sleep that's not refreshing. So you get a full night of sleep and you're still waking up feeling tired or groggy and then sleeping way more than normal. Kazagla says the first thing to do is simply make sure a person's getting sufficient sleep and that it's at an appropriate time. The next step is seeing if other sleep disorders are at play. Things like restless legs or obstructive sleep apnea are much more common than other conditions like narcolepsy or idiopathic hypersomnia. Once any other sleep disorders have been treated, Kazagla says medication can help manage the sleepiness. In the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of research in this department, and we're really starting to see some advances. I'm Mandy Gaither.